Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a quick what I'm putting in my kids' Easter baskets video. I want to try to keep it quick and just to the point because I know sometimes these videos like you want to see what someone got their kid, but you don't need a big long explanation that makes the video like 20 minutes long or more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I have two daughters, they are six and two. I tried to keep their baskets pretty similar. Some things are just slightly different. And yeah, Madeline is right here, but like I said, she's only two, like newly two. She doesn't understand. Really quick, I will say these are their baskets. So there's this really cute liner and it has their name. Um, each of them have their name on it. And this is Pottery Barn Kids, but um, they're probably gonna be our only two kids. So I just went ahead last year, I think, maybe the year before, um, and just went ahead and got them matching ones. And honestly, if we decide to have another kid within the next couple years, I'm sure I could still find the same things. I just thought they were really cute and I liked that I could personalize them as well. Growing up, I always had the same Easter basket and I still do have it actually. It's kind of falling apart, but I just like the idea that they can have this forever. Also, before we get started, I know we'll get to it in a second. Let me know down below any fun traditions you have that either you put in your kid's basket or that you used to get in your own basket. For example, my parents used to always put these chocolate shaped Cran shaped chocolates in our basket every single year for so long and the company doesn't make them anymore which makes me so sad now that I have kids of my own but that's just something that like I think of and I just think of Easter so let me know down below if you guys have anything fun like that too. To start I am doing this stuff this year in both of their baskets. It's kind of like a nostalgic thing for me. I feel like I always had it in my baskets and yeah, it's a pain in the butt to clean up and it's like it sticks around for six months after Easter's over. But I don't know, like I said, I remember having it as a kid so I just decided to do it for them too. Okay, so the first thing that both girls are getting is this pair of bunny ears. This is something that I think I've kind of done every year for them. Um, I don't know why, I just always end up getting them some. So it's like it's kind of become a tradition for their baskets. The next thing that they are both getting is I found these gel window clings. And the apartment we're about to move to has a lot of windows, so it'll be perfect. So Aubrey's getting Bell and two Shopkins ones. And then Madeline is also getting Belle, and she's also getting Minnie and Skye. And then I found these really cute mini tote bags for both girls. So Aubrey's going to get My Little Pony, and Madeline's going to get this cute Disney Zoom Zoom one. Both girls are getting this Disney Surprise Play Pack. So it includes one collectible character. Um, it says it's like a foam character. Yeah, it says one surprise foam character two sticker sheets, one velvet poster, one stencil, eight crayons, and 32 page full size coloring book. Next up, I've got each of them a pack of these really cute hair ties with the little bow. These were in the clearance at Walmart. And they are also both getting just a pack of colored pencils. They both really like to color. Next up, they are both getting four different little blind bags in their baskets. So I've talked about in other videos before this discount store we have here. So they had some Hatchimals blind bags for only $1.25. And then they had these Secret Life of Pets ones that were only 50 cents. So they're both getting two of each in their basket. Then I got each of them some sticker sheets. And so Madeline is getting this Rapunzel sheet and also this Mickey and Minnie set. Aubrey's sticker sheet is going to be Anna and Elsa and Disney princesses. One thing that Aubrey is getting in hers that Madeline is not, um, which I'll probably try to find something else, just kind of small, just to make it even. Um, I found these flashcards. So in school, Aubrey's actually been learning how to tell time and you know, telling the difference between pennies, quarters, nickels, and all of that, and, you know, counting up money and things like that. So I got her these telling time and money flashcards. Now, as far as candy goes and treats, they're both getting a cookies and cream bunny and a solid milk chocolate bunny. And then I found these at the register at the store, and both of my kids are obsessed with Oreos. 
but uh, these little Oreo eggs. I think it's filled with cream and Oreo pieces. Then I decided to splurge a little bit on the treats this year and buy from our favorite candy store. Every time we go to New York City, we go to Dylan's Candy Bar. It is Ralph Lauren's daughter who started it. So the first thing that I ordered are these Simply Irresistible Sour Jelly Beans. They come in this really cute bunny bag. Then I got them this milk chocolate with blue marshmallow filling fluffy bunny chocolate bar. Really, really cute. And then I couldn't resist this. Ari's like me and she loves New York City. So I know she'll especially like this, but just this cookie with Statue of Liberty and the skyline on it. So they're both getting all three of those. I'm still debating, but I may also get them both like an Easter book because I do like to have a collection of books for different holidays and seasons and they don't have anything Easter. So I might do that. I found a couple on Amazon for about $5 each. So that may be in there. I don't know for sure yet, but I thought that might be a nice addition. All right, you guys, that is all. I hope you guys liked this sped up version. It wasn't anything too crazy, so I didn't feel like I needed to really go in depth. And like I said, sometimes these videos can just get so long winded and it's not like I'm overflowing their basket with stuff either. Don't forget to let me know down below if you have any fun tradition that you put in your kid's basket or a fun tradition that you used to get in your own basket growing up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.